a lot of interest in fruit juices at the moment and their ability to reduce blood pressure. But how much of this is actually true? If you want to know a bit more, keep watching. know that high blood pressure is bad for us. At the moment the uh, limit recommended limit is a 120 over 80. Uh, what's interesting and is anything above that, even small increments can have a relatively large impact on our health. If you want to know a bit more about high blood pressure and its impact, look at one of my previous videos. But there has been a lot of interest at the moment about natural fruit juices and it's their claimed ability to reduce blood pressure. There are many. There's carrot juice have been uh, implicated in this. There's celery juices, beetroot juice, uh, various fruit juices. But how much of this is actually true and how much of it are old wives tell? So I'm going to present some information just on the scientific studies. So these are going to be juices that have had some studies done on them that can give us some credence to give us some evidence that they might actually work. So there are so many juices at the moment it's impossible to, uh, to look at all of them but I'm going to focus on just three of them. So these are three that there have been some scientific studies uh, done on them uh, and the first one is beetroot juice, Montmorency cherry juice and pomegranate juice. So I'm going to talk about each one of those in turn briefly, a bit about their mode of action, etc. Look at the scientific data and then give you my own personal opinion uh, about each of those. So here we go. So the first one of these is beetroot juice. Beetroot juice, been drunk for hundreds of years. Um, the mechanism of how this works is actually quite well known. Uh, when you consume it, it's very high in nitrates and these are converted uh, metabolically in your body to nitrites and then to nitric oxide and nit nitric oxide uh, are found to be very potent vasodilators. So there's been a number of studies that have come out very recently uh, uh, over the recent years on beetroot juice and generally again they are all in the same direction which is positive and that direction is they do seem to reduce or it does seem to reduce blood pressure. Um, it tends to be dose dependent, so the mo more you drink, uh, the more uh, effective it is. Uh, um, uh, one study I particularly noted is about a cupful a day, 230 millilitres a day, a cupful. If you consume that, will reduce blood pressure over about four weeks to about eight uh, uh, millimetres of mercury, which is a substantial drop. Um, to put that in perspective, it really is you're looking at uh, single monotherapies that you might get from your clinician that uh, may have uh, similar effects. So uh, in theory, it's potentially potent. Uh, just going on, the size of these studies that have been done are quite small, but I'll talk about a bit more about all those later. But uh, overall, uh, some papers down below, look at the links. The evidence on balance is uh, quite fairly convincing. It does seem to lower blood pressure. So superficially it works. There is an effect and what's more important is the mechanism is known and the reduction has been quite accurately measured and repeated over different studies. So the second juice, pomegranate juice. Pomegranate juice again has been drunk for a long time. So the mechanism of how pomegranate juice works is actually quite well known. It contains an angiotensin enzyme conversion inhibitor. So it works as an ACE inhibitor. So what that really does is it inhibits, inhibits an enzyme from being produced and that enzyme, a lack of that enzyme, causes uh, um, vessels to dilate. So in effect it's an ACE inhibitor in line with the uh, medical um, uh, pharmaceutical products that uh, are given over the counter. One of the reasons why um, it's believed to work is it's very rich in, or pomegranate juice, is very rich in something called polyphenols and these are believed to act as the ACE inhibitor and they relax the blood vessels thus lowering um, uh, blood pressure over time. The results again seem to be fairly consistent. Uh, very generally small studies but give tend to give a consistent result again up to eight millimeter drop in mercury over time the various different volumes that you have to drink does change and um, 
so some have been around 200 mils again, so that's uh, almost a cup, uh, going down to about 50 mils, about that much, half a glass. So uh, there's been some variation in the amounts that have been used in these studies. But again, they do seem to be quite consistent, and that is that pomegranate juice does seem to reduce blood pressure. Another point of interest with pomegranate juice is that with a few publications, uh, they have noted that there's been a positive effect on fat profiles, lipid prof profiles in the blood. So HDL uh, goes up, LDL, your low density or bad lipoproteins go down. And also, um, as with beetroot juice, it's also been associated with increasing the flexibility of capillaries and arteries. Uh, so it makes them uh, more elastic, which again is beneficial in terms of uh, blood pressure. Once again, I'll put some of these, uh, the literature, the direct links to these uh, uh, scientific papers down below so that you can look at them at your own leisure. And the third juice that I want to look at briefly is Montmorency cherry juice. Now this has uh, been on the scene a bit more recently, or, or at least some of the uh, beneficial properties have been uh, stumbled upon a bit more recently. But again, there's a few papers coming out. Uh, probably one of the most convincing was out of Newcastle University uh, that was published in the scientific journal, again below. Uh, this seemed to indicate that there was a sustained drop in blood pressure, systolic blood pressure, that's the first number, of about seven millimetres of mercury, which again is pretty substantial. It's comparable, comparable to therapies, the ACE inhibitors, calcium channel blockers or beta blockers that you might get from uh, the GP. So again, a few more studies have been done showing generally a positive effect. So this cherry juice is very rich in phenolic compounds, which again are known to increase vasodilation and help lower blood pressure. So again, the, the research does seem positive. It all seems to go in the same direction. And to give this context again with all these juices, uh, the ballpark reduction does seem to be similar between uh, uh, five to eight millimetres of mercury. And this if it's true, will lead to substantial say, uh, um, implications for uh, heart disease and stroke. I mean, you're talking about 20% to 40% reductions in coronary heart disease or stroke uh, risk. So the reductions are not to be sniffed at if they're true. But now we come on to the caveats. And there are some problems, uh, I think, that uh, deserve to be highlighted. The first one is that all the studies that have been done on all these juices and fruit juices in general are quite uh, small. So, you know, you're talking about 30 patients or 40 patients over six week periods. Uh, longest one, pomegranate juice. I think they did uh, uh, monitor for a couple of years. But the point being is they're still very small. For large clinical trials, you really need thousands or even tens of thousands of people to um, get a really robust result. Uh, the problem here is, of course, is that um, uh, we are omnivorous. We live complicated lives and picking the effect of one uh, drink or supplement can be quite tricky from a complex diet. But, however, because these smaller... Uh, uh, they are, although they are smaller studies, the effect seems to be repeated. It does give us some justification that they might, in fact, work. The second uh, note of caution I would have about all nutri these nutrient juices and all supplements in general are that you are consuming a large quantity of uh, these items if you do it day after day after day after day. And to my knowledge, no one has done a 20 year follow up study of someone who's drinking a mug of beetroot juice a day or a cup of pomegranate juice a day. Although uh, we may, it may reduce blood pressure, as it's been shown in these studies, we don't really know what the long term implications of that are. Perhaps there's something else that we haven't measured that over 10, 5, 10, 15 years could actually be detrimental to our health. And uh, this is when you uh, take large uh, quantities of supplement. That's always should be a consideration uh, that uh, uh, no long-term safety studies have been done of consuming this day after day for long periods of time. It should be fine. People have, have anecdotally stated they've done this, but again, there's no scientific 
proof uh, on large numbers of people that have followed this and uh, to show a result. And I think the other, uh, the other aspect of taking fruit juices in particular are that they contain a lot of sugar. Um, and it, they're substantial amounts of sugar in pomegranate juice, juice, beetroot juice and the cherry juice. And to take those quantities day after day after day uh, is not insignificant. And anyone who's weight conscious or worried about how much sugar uh, they drink, as many of us are, should really be cautious about drinking that amount of sugar, even though it comes from natural sources. But here's the thing. Reducing blood pressure is extremely important. For most of us, as we get older, it creeps up. Uh, very few of us are, uh, are immune and uh, uh, the closer we can get uh, to keeping our blood pressure around 120 over 80 the better it is for us in the long term. So I suppose it's only fair to ask uh, uh, do I actually drink these uh, fruit juices at all to try and keep blood pressure under control as I get older uh, and as part of you know a balanced diet etc and the answer is yes I do but with caution. Uh, what I mean by that is that um, with the beetroot juice, it's a large volume that's recommended. It's a mug. And uh, so and there's a lot of sugar in there. So I will drink this only before uh, uh, my bike commute. So I, I will drink it and then my bike commute is 13 miles or it could be shorter if I take the train some other way. But the point being is I will only drink that just before I do exercise. And then in the evening, if I do take the pomegranate juice, uh, some of the studies have been using smaller volumes. That's 50 to 60 milliliters. So that's a, a small amount. So I take that volume uh, uh, once uh, a day. So minimizing the amount of sugar. And again, I'd normally try to take these uh, just before I, I'm going to do some exercise. So, uh, but yeah, again, the calories that come from those sugars are not insignificant. I keep banging on about that because it's true. Uh, but again, uh, the positive effect with lowering the blood pressure does also seem to be true. So I would, it's a balance. It's not for everyone. If you're completely sedentary, uh, then perhaps you should think about that more carefully. There is one important thing here before we go. And this, uh, you would be extremely, extremely unwise to replace any of your medications with fruit juices. That is not what this is about at all. I can't emphasize that enough. If you ever want to cut out any of your blood pressure medications, go and see your doctor, of course, because uh, uh, blood pressure uh, reducing medications are very, very effective if they're used uh, uh, correctly. Uh, so uh, I take the position that uh, just with uh, these uh, blood pressure reducing juices, they're just, a, they're just an adjunct, something to help as part of a healthy lifestyle. But yeah, please don't replace your medicines uh, with fruit juices. Uh, that would be uh, not a sensible thing to do. So in summary, in summary, I think the data overall is positive in the sense that they all do legitimately seem to have an effect on blood pressure and reducing blood pressure even a little a few points if you go below uh, above 120 can have big effects on health so it could be worth uh, including uh, one or two of these uh, if you're going to include all three for example juices I think you'd have to really think carefully about the amount of sugar that you're ingesting uh, also Take into account that, uh, to my knowledge, no one's done 10, 20 year studies of people who drink this stuff, or uh, these juices every day. So there, there's a risk in that too. Uh, the short term effect is that blood pressure is reduced. Uh, and uh, what I would like to see, of course, is all these studies are very small. And uh, so if we were going to look at this uh, more uh, be more concise and robust about this data, there really need to be bigger studies, which there are not at the moment. And that is a flaw in all this. And of course, I know there are many other juices that uh, are in the press at the moment. So you've got carry, cal uh, carrot juice, celery juice, many other juices uh, that um, are again reported to um, reduce blood pressure. So for all of these, all I would say is 
as soon as you hear anything about their effects, don't look at magazines or in the papers. Look for the original scientific uh, the s journal or the source of information and just look into it because it's important, uh, uh, you know, how effective these things might be. So, as always, thanks for watching. If you do like these videos, please do press the subscribe button. It's a great motivation to carry on uh, doing these. And uh, watch out for the next Journeyman video.